My name is Tofa Iskenderova. I am a risk manager at Bonadia International Hospital. Today, I'll give you some information about our hospital's cleaning services department. Our hospital opened on May 27, 2018. The indoor area of the hospital is 40,000 square meters. It was designed in accordance with the requirements and recommendations of JCI, organization that works to improve patient safety and quality of health care, and was audited for compliance with the requirements of JCI. Our cleaning services department has 53 staff members who work day and night shifts, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, without interruption. After the cleaning services department staff members check in upon their arrival, they go to changing rooms to put on their uniform. Each day, staff members have a few minute briefing where they receive important information about cleaning supplies, necessary reminders, discuss work agenda, and other challenges that might come up during the work process. Cleaning of the hospital's area is carried out in accordance with the sanitary and epidemiological requirements, as well as rules and methods tested and approved by developed countries. Cleaning procedures are carried out in accordance with the requirements of different departments. If necessary, chemical substances are used to clean sensitive surfaces. Based on the hospital color coding, different cloths and mops are used in different departments. Red microfiber cloths are used for toilets, green cloths for other surfaces, yellow microfiber cloths for dining tables, and so on. Instead of dust brush and pan, we use disposable sticky wipes designed for dusting in hospital environment to dust the floor and other surfaces. Before starting the cleaning process, cleaning trolleys are prepared. Usage and transportation of cleaning trolleys is easy. Cleaning supplies in cleaning trolleys are different from standard cleaning supplies. The trolley is placed at the center of a room. Cleaning staff disinfects their hands and puts on the gloves. Then they start cleaning room surfaces from the inner corner of the room. Cleaning process is performed in accordance with six main rules of cleaning. First look, think, and then act. From up to down. From clean to dirty areas. First dry, then clean. Maintain good posture when cleaning. Always clean in the same direction. During routine cleaning, all the horizontal surfaces, stained surfaces, edges of patient beds, bathroom floors are fully cleaned. After each patient discharge, all the vertical and horizontal surfaces, doors, walls, inner surfaces of wardrobes, legs of furniture, head walls, and patient beds are thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. Horizontal surfaces and patient beds are cleaned with a spray containing a substance of quaternary ammonium and 45% alcohol that is approved by the Infection Control Department. Cleaning Services Department supervisors make sure that cleaning staff carries out the cleaning correctly. Disposable sticky wipes are used for dusting instead of dust brush and pan. They easily dust floors and other surfaces. Floor mop frames and mop cloths differ from wall mop frames and mop cloths in size. After the cleaning is completed, cloths and mops are put in laundry bags for dirty cloths and mops and sent to the laundry, where they are washed and disinfected at the end of each shift. The operating room department is considered a high-risk area so it's very important to create clean and sterile environment here.
cleaning between cases, end of the day cleaning, weekly cleaning, and terminal cleaning are performed here. At the end of the day, when all the surgeries are completed, all the wheeled equipment is removed from the operating room, and then walls and floors are cleaned and disinfected. Floors are cleaned and disinfected using floor scrubber dryers. Then the operating room is prepared for the next surgery. Cleaning of the ICU department also requires special attention. First, the rooms of infectious patients and patients susceptible to infection are cleaned and disinfected in accordance with guidelines and instructions of the Infection Control Committee. And then a diffuser is placed into the room. This diffuser spreads out the disinfectant substance. This way, we make sure that the room is safe for the next patient. This disinfection process is constantly carried out in all the other rooms as well, as a preventative measure. Lobbies, inpatient departments, polyclinic, radiology, laboratory, and other departments are cleaned in accordance with the requirements applicable to them. All the hospital wastes are transported to waste refrigerators by porters using special containers. Escalator handrails are cleaned every two hours and disinfected by a special ultraviolet device. As our hospital has a large area, 40,000 square meters, we use scrubber dryers. Scrubber dryers clean the floor by scrubbing it with water and sucking the dirty water, thus accomplishing three tasks at the same time and making the job easier for the cleaning staff. Considering our hospital's patient, visitor, and staff capacity, it's obvious that it requires considerable effort to create the environment necessary for preparing quality hygienic foods. Yet, state-of-the-art equipment and cleaning supplies that we use make it a lot easier. For example, a big conveyor dishwasher is intended for washing and drying large quantities of tableware and small kitchen utensils in a short period of time. Some of the equipment is self-cleaning. Equipment and machines are cleaned with special food-grade cleaners. Cleaning staff responsible for the kitchen keeps it clean for 24 hours a day. The head of department coordinates work distribution, assigns staff to departments and areas, regulates terminal cleaning procedures planned, ensures that departments are provided with necessary cleaning materials and substances, and organizes trainings to improve competence and knowledge of staff and increase quality indicators and manages other administrative matters. Just like the staff of other departments, cleaning services staff also participates in training on hospital safety patient, visitor, and staff safety trainings held by the Infection Control Department, basic life support trainings, trainings on emergency preparedness and division of duties in case of emergency, right use and maintenance of equipment, working with hazardous materials, and other important trainings. As the Cleaning Services Department, our goal is to constantly maintain clean and hygienic environment and achieve cleanliness cost efficiently and in a short period of time. And thus, 
serve our population by creating the cleanest and safest environment in the region. Our hospital works in accordance with the rules of JCI, the most prestigious healthcare quality standards in the world. Health is priceless. Trust the best.